Hey guys, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at storyboards in iMovie. I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how it works. This is a new feature that was released to iMovie with the iMovie 3.0 update, and it's a really, really nice update. I really recommend you check it out and update your app. I did do a whole video on the update explaining exactly everything that's new in the update. If you want to check out that video, I'll have that linked in the eye up top. But in today's video, we're going to be specifically looking at storyboards. So I'm going to go into iMovie here and here you can see this is what iMovie looks like now. And now if you want to start a new project, you go down here, you tap on that and then this little thing will pop up with a menu of different things you can do. So in the previous video, I did cover Magic Movie and Movie, but in today's video, we're going to specifically taking a look at storyboards. So it says use beautiful templates to easily create video or movie trailer. So I'm going to tap on that and then you can see you have different templates for different types of videos. So the one you select will vary on the type of content you create. Um, so for the sake of this video, I'm going to be choosing a product review, which is this one right here. Um, and this really helps you create your story for your video. So the first thing you want to check out is just the theme that you want for your video or they call it styles. So here you can see you have a few you can choose from. Um, they are really nice and I really like that they do give you this option. It really helps you get the feel for your video from the start. I'm going to go with the click one, but you can go through all the styles that they have here for different types of videos and then just choose the one that will best suit yours. So I'm just going to go with click here. And they can also adjust some more things within each style. So the music that's going to be playing in the background, the color, um, the font, as well as the filter. So you can go in and change a few things if there's something you prefer rather than the one that they gave you as default. But once you're happy with the style you've selected, you can just click on create in the top right corner here, and then you can start making your video. So I do recommend checking out and going through the storyboards here just to get an idea of the type of videos that you want to take before actually editing your video. So like I said, this helps you create or tell your story and you're going to want to know your story before filming as well. Um, so go through this. This really helps guide you as to how to put your video together. What do you exactly need? The type of video shots you need. Um, again, depending on the type of video that you selected, this will vary. So for instance, if you chose a cooking video, that's going to have different types of footage that is required. Um, but you're not just set to these. These are guidelines. You can easily add more clips or delete some of these if you want to. So you're not just bound by these clips. These are just a good template slash guide to guide you to creating your video. Um, so I already have my clips selected for this video. I'm not going to be using every single one of these video clip sections, but just to give you guys an overview of how this works, I'm going to be going through it like I've creating this video. So the first thing it asks you is for an opener. Again, depending on the type of video you selected, this might be different. It does automatically, based on the style that I selected, choose the type of title um, here. So you can go ahead and go in to edit this. But first, I'm just going to add my clip here. So you just tap on the plus button and then just choose your clip. I'm just going to select choose from library and I'm going to choose the clip that I want to use. So now if I just scrub through this, you can see there is my title that it gave me. So if you want to edit that or choose a different type of title, if you're not happy with that one, you can just go ahead and click on this pencil icon here, click on edit clip. And within here, you can do more in-depth editing. So you can even just edit this clip that you selected. So if you need to cut out a few parts and then just add in some more text, adjust the volume, add some music over it, do some voiceover. You can do that all within the editor here, which is really nice. So you can even afterwards just go in and edit. You don't have to have your clips already edited down. So I'm going to go ahead and just select titles here and then just change the title that is selected. So this is the title that it selected for my video, but I'm going to go ahead and do this main title. So this is what it looks like. Um, so then when I scrub through my video, this is what's going to pop up and you can go ahead and then just edit your text according to the video that you're making. So that's how you add in your title and change it to something that you might like more. Again, you can go here to edit. So you have three options here. This one deletes the part before the this little timeline strip here. So this part will be deleted and this part will be kept. Um, this keeps both, but it just gives it a split down the middle. 
and this one deletes this part of the video and keeps this part um, before this timeline thread here. So you can go ahead and do a rough cut if you want. If you need to cut out any awkward pauses or things like that, you can go through and do that. We already covered the titles area. You can add some text. Again, you can adjust the volume. So you have your clip audio and your soundtrack. So the soundtrack is if you have any music in. Here you can go to your music section and choose the soundtrack that is playing. You can change it right there. And then also, again, you can add a voiceover. So once you're happy within your clip and you edited everything you want, you can then go back and then see the overview of your video and add in some more shots. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my other shots here. I'm just gonna go and quickly add them and then I'll get back to you guys once my clips are in place. Okay, so I added in all my clips here um, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. As you can see, I didn't put clips in every single space. You can do that and if you have too little space, you can add even more clips, but I doubt that you'll need more space. They do give quite a lot here, but um, this is a really nice thing to guide you to how to put your video together um, and tell your story the best way possible. Um, like I said, you can just delete these for the clips that you don't actually want. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and scrub through your video. And if you're happy with it, you can export it. But first I wanna just go through some of the other things you can edit. So like text and things like that. Um, so let's do that. So I'm going to go to this clip here. As you can see, it says here that it has a title there that you can edit. So I'm just going to go in and edit. Again, you can just click on edit clip. And then you can go in and edit your title here. Um, you can just, again, choose which type of title you want. If you want to change anything there. You can also, for like this clip, I don't want a title over it. You can even go ahead and just remove the title by going to titles and clicking full screen. So that means there will be no title over your clip. And again, you can just go through, scrub through this editor, go through every clip, add in some text, add in some splits if you need to, um, and just make it your video your own. And once you're happy, you can go back here, then you can go ahead and export your video. If you're curious on how to change your style for your video, so say you have this click style over it, but you actually want a different one, it's not working with the feel for your video, you can go ahead, go here to this little film strip icon, go there, and here you can see you can change your um, style and music and everything from one place. So it's really easy to just do that um, from right there. So in order to export your video, you just click on this export button up here, choose save video, and then it will start exporting your video to your camera roll. And also if you're not ready to export your video yet and you're not done editing, you can just click on done here in the top left and then you'll see it just here with all your other projects. Um, easy as that. So that is storyboards in iMovie. This new feature I think will help you learn how to create good stories for your videos and it really does help give you a guide as to how to put your video together. I really love this update and I think iMovie really needed something new so this is a really nice update and I love the styles that they also give because themes were very limited as well within iMovie. So I really hope this video helped you guys and you got some better idea of storyboards and exactly how it works. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any other questions regarding storyboards in iMovie and I will definitely get back to you guys. Definitely subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Um, and click on the playlist to see all of my other iMovie related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!